Research scientists are racing to come up with data that could save Texas rivers. They say an assault is underway by invasive fish that are destroying sensitive habitats all over the state. Ken's Five reporter Sue Kalberg went to the San Marcos River for a big fish tail. Oh my goodness. They're a global invader. In a watery laboratory on the campus of Texas State University. You can see how rough that is. Scientists are fishing for information. Get one more. Hypostomus placostomus. It's a South American species of fish they say is wrecking rivers across the state. It's not just the San Marcos River, it's also the Comal, it's also San Felipe Creek in West Texas, it's also the bayous in Houston. The researchers will be electronically stalking the fish. This one will actually emit a signal. Using tiny transmitters, they'll see what the fish are up to and if they can be stopped. There's one more spot that we could try. What happens in the lab is important, but what really matters is what's happening out here on the banks and the burrows where the fish are damaging the habitat. And then tunneling in, into the bank is one of the better known reasons that these fish are problematic. They say river banks are collapsing and these bottom sucking omnivores eat everything in their path, including the eggs of many native species that could be in danger of being wiped out. Biologists say plenty of other invaders are causing trouble too, primarily because people are dumping their fish tanks into wild waters. Any animal that you've kept in captivity should not go into the wild. At Kens5.com, there's a link to more information about what all Texans can do to protect our precious natural places. In San Marcos, Sue Kalberg, Kens5. More than 500 of those invaders were removed from the San Antonio River in January when they drained the downtown channel for maintenance work.